Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to simply show you how to set the tension on a bomber spring hinge. Almost all of them are adjustable in their spring tension, although not all are, but almost all are. The hinge that I have in front of me happens to be a CL4040-7 in a uh, uh, 640 finish. Um, you know, it's just that's just the model of the hinge. I'm using it because it's larger for purposes of video recording. There is a link if you're looking at this at a hinge, I should say. There's a link, hopefully, to the installation instructions uh, where you can easily get to. And when you pull that up, uh, there's admittedly more information there that you than you might uh, want to review. But the truth of the matter is, it's how you set the tension. This example is based on the tension collar, this collar with holes in it, being towards the top. You can see down here there are no holes. The tension collar, when it's pointed towards the top, and it's installed on the door, the door is hanging, you're imagining that it's hung, insert the tension collar into a hole and turn it clockwise. As you turn it clockwise, you will free the, the pin. This is a tension pin. You can remove the force that you've applied to the tension collar, then the door will literally be free swinging at that point. There'll be no tension set at all. To set tension, you simply insert that tension rod and you turn it over to the first hole. Okay, if I were to set the tension pin back into that hole, which is difficult to do with it not installed, set the pin in there and then release the tension. Careful, that's a large hinge. Now you've got lots of tension set on the hinge. If you need more tension, insert the tension rod, crank it over to the next hole, put the pin in. If you need more tension, crank it over to the following hole, set the pin in. If you need less, you reverse the process. That's simply how it's done. You must have a tension rod, you must have the tension pin. Okay. Now, it's important to know that the hinge that you're working on, in terms of how many additional holes of tension you can set, is based on the hinge itself and the degree of opening. If the door is going to go only to 90 degree, you can generally set an additional hole of tension. But if you're going to go to 180, you're restricted by one hole of tension. So the example is this. And looking at the 4040 installation instructions, I'm going to see if it's uh, specified how many holes of tension can be set. Um, I don't see that listed anywhere. A rule of thumb would be, if it, it, it's just a general rule of thumb, doesn't necessarily apply to the hinge you're working on. Uh, if you're going to 90 degree, you can go four holes of tension. If you're going to 180 degree, go three holes of tension. The uh, specific 4040-7 installation instructions just simply tell you it's going to come from the factory with this pin set. You'll have to remove the tension on the collar to get the leaf open far enough so that you can actually attach it to the door because once tension is set here, you will not be able to get that open. So you remove the tension hang the door clockwise. I mean, you can install it upside down as well. Just turn the tension collar, uh, the tension collar counter clockwise. And then you set the tension by, by means of the rod and the pin. If you have any questions on how to set the tension on a bomber single acting spring hinge or a double acting spring hinge for that matter, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.